So I'm gonna take the dashboard apart and most of this interior stuff apart. I wanna get the cluster out to fix the uh, electronic odometer that doesn't work, but man, this stuff, when you hear 90s plastic is brittle, this stuff is really brittle. I think just looking at it the wrong way makes it crumble, but all right, well, I'll make some videos of the uh, process. I started on the other side already. Took out the uh, glove compartment. There's like three screws down here, like one, two, three, and then it comes off. And then uh, the ashtray, and then some screws down here in the bottom. I'm trying to be very careful because this stuff, I mean, if you know, you know. It's coming along. There's a bunch of panels here. I took off the uh, the ones up here and up here. Then there's these screws here. And you kind of just pull this and it comes off forward. There is like a screw, screw back here for the lower, but this is actually really easy. I'm gonna paint it, cause I don't like all this like staining, sun damage or dirt, whatever that is, that's nasty. So we're gonna make it look new again. Look at this dash. So we're gonna take care of all of that. So these are the resistors here that need to come out. I don't know if somebody tried this before, or if that's from the factory, but. That don't look good. So, I was able to take off the uh, three resistors that were there. This stuff was like, on there like that. So what I did is I took off these black screws here. Then you lift up lift up the board and you have to be careful with these cuz these are for like the gauges. And then there's a wire in there but it opens up just enough to stick these in there and cut cut the three resistors and then just the part that gets stuck on the board, you could just take it off with the uh, with the soldering iron. So I'm using this Chicago. You know where this is at. This is from. So, all right, I'm gonna get the uh, new resistors and look at the instructions, and then take it from there. Alright, so it wasn't that hard, it was just a little time consuming. And then they recommend to put glue on top of the joints so that the uh, the vibrations don't break the solder joints. So it looks nasty, but I'm gonna go install it and see if it works. Alright, so. The LED lights I put on there seem to be working. Can't get this any darker, but yeah. All right, moment of truth. Oh, it works. 112,000 miles. 
Oh wow, I thought it was gonna be closer to like 150 or 175. Thirteen. That's probably the miles I drove yesterday night and this morning. Oh, nice, nice. I'm happy. These are some of the uh, panels that still need to be painted. I'm using the duplicator, medium gray. There's a lower dash. Still have to repair that that crack there. And clean it up and paint it. That's the back. Put the uh, the dashboard came out pretty good. These two, I painted these because they were all faded. 